Lifting off from its equatorial launch site at 154 degrees west longitude, the Sea Launch Zenit 3SL rocket will place the Inmarsat 4 satellite into geosynchronous transfer orbit. Two and a half minutes after liftoff, the first stage, and then the payload fairing, will be jettisoned. Five minutes later, the second stage will separate from the Block DM upper stage. The Block DM will execute two burns during this mission, with a coast period between these burns. The first burn will last about four and a half minutes. The Block DM engine will then shut down, and the upper stage will coast with the Inmarsat 4 spacecraft on an equatorial path for a period of 55 minutes. The Block DM will then ignite for its second burn, lasting seven minutes. Following another 10-minute coast, the Block DM will separate from the spacecraft. A ground station in British Columbia is expected to acquire the first signal from the satellite approximately 25 minutes after spacecraft separation. Following the successfully completed mission, Inmarsat 4 will be located in geostationary orbit at 53 degrees west longitude. And that's what today's flight plan looks like. And we're rapidly approaching liftoff in just a few minutes. At uh, two minutes and counting, we're moving toward an on-time launch of MRSAT-4 satellite. As mentioned earlier, all systems are nominal. Everything is moving along. Dan Dubbs, Sea Launch Mission Director, has confirmed that all systems are go for launch as the automated countdown continues. Our meteorologist, Matt Gritch, reports excellent condi conditions for launch. The main engine of the first stage generates 1.6 million pounds of thrust. Since the vehicle at liftoff weighs about a million pounds, this high thrust to weight ratio results in a very fast liftoff from the launch pad. All mission milestones are proceeding on schedule. The teams from Sea Launch, MRSAT, and EADS Astrum are making their final assessment of launch status. Dr. Valeria Leave. Manager of Rocket Segment Operations reports the Zenit 3SL rocket is ready for launch. We have a go for liftoff at one minute and counting. We'll listen now to the world's only bilingual countdown in English and Russian as ignition begins. Stand by for terminal count. Последние секунды предстартового отчета. Ten, eight, nine, eight, 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 seven, seven, six, six, five, six, four, four, Stabilization is nominal. L bus 40 seconds. ILV is now transonic. Main engine pressure is nominal. Flight is nominal. Maximal dynamic pressure. ILV stabilization is nominal. Director Mr. RS. Go ahead. Точное время КП. 14 часов. 6 минут 
Contact lift off time was 14.06.59.18 GMT. 59.187 seconds. 14.06.59.18. Flight is nominal. We copy and roger. Yamashat 4 mission is now on its way. The rocket has completed a pitch-over maneuver to ensure the vehicle is aligned with the planned flight profile. It passed through maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q, at a distance of approximately four miles downrange. It is currently traveling at an estimated speed of 2,500 miles per hour, or just over 4,000 kilometers per hour. At two minutes into flight, the rocket goes through a throttle down maneuver to limit maximum acceleration for the remainder of the first stage operations. During maximum acceleration, the vehicle experiences loads of four times greater than the force of gravity. Engine throttling controls the dynamic environment for the rocket and the satellite through the flight profile. We are now coming up on first stage separation. First stage separation confirmed. Second stage main engine ignition command is issued. Main engine nominal throttle up. Flight is nominal. ILV stabilization is nominal. Pressure in main engine and vernier engine is nominal. OSS MD. OSS. Step 310, begin aerial inspection of the LP. Roger, in work. Flight is nominal. ILV motion is stable. Pressure in main engine and vernier engine is nominal. Flight is nominal. PLF jettison command is sent. ILV stabilization is nominal at L plus four minutes. Booster ground station confirms receipt of black DM and PLU telemetry. Separation break wires confirmed. Moscow Control Center and ACS confirm reception of Tidrus Block DM data. Main engine and vernier engine performance is nominal. Flight is nominal. ILV stabilization is nominal at L plus five minutes. H is ground channel Do you five. Need to start over here. Five three three point five. Pressure in main engine and vernier engine is nominal. Flight is nominal. ILV stabilization is nominal. Main engine and vernier engine performance is nominal. HS ground confirms receipt of Tedris PLU telemetry and bearing 7.